very much echoes what I found when I moved here was that there's so many people doing amazing things. Like it's incredible, really, what's going on in Wilmington. But there's no, nothing, nothing pulling it all together, and that's not just. I mean, that's across all business sectors. It's across, you know, the arts, the clean tech, the green building, the, um, the stuff going on, the environment, the uh, marine bio, the university. It's all these wonderful things happening, but, um, you know, who is pulling it together? And it does seem like there's a clear lack of leadership um, on, on any of this e economic development stuff going on. Um, so it's, you know, my business is a startup too, and I think it's one that is often overlooked as a startup because my husband's business is a high tech, woo woo, you know. But the real thing that's coming is the social entrepreneurship. It's the businesses that solve the very problems we're talking about in this room. It's the businesses that solve social and environmental problems, and it's going to be completely inseparable from having from business. Business school will teach it as part of their curriculum. They won't be separated. And I'm trying to make a living in Wilmington at the forefront of this movement, which Harvard Business Review says, you know, is the going to be as big as electrification in the coming century. And we can't get it off the ground. Let me say something real quick, Ray. Okay, uh, I'm starting a school of manufacturing entrepreneurship. My incubator is going to be a 26,000 square foot building over in Brunswick County when we get funded. We're going to focus on manufacturing. In our incubator is going to be my manufacturing plan, which is going to be a school that's going to teach people how to start manufacturing businesses and private label manufacturing. A part of that is because of the social entrepreneurship. I'm going to help people because we, we do train online. People can learn how to do entrepreneurship manufacturing online. Um, we're going to have a call center to sell products. That's going to be part of the training. With, as a manufacturer, if you can't sell your products, it's no sense manufacturing. We're going to have a call center, and we're going to have a distribution center. And, uh, and then, at the end of the two-year program, we have to take two years of manufacturing entrepreneurship. That's why we, we specify. Manufacturing. Don't come here looking for a job. Because it's manufacturing <laughs> entrepreneurship and private label manufacturing entrepreneurship. They can use the call center. Most of the trainees who are in the school will be using, will be trained in the call center to learn how to sell products by phone and internet. Because we're no longer selling stuff face to face on the phone and internet. Uh, they, most of the people who are going to be trained in our center is going to be trained on textile manufacturing. Because manufacturing is the heart of the middle class in the United States. But we just, we've lost that uh, art of manufacturing. That's why we want to open up this manufacturing plant. We're right down the street from DAC, which is part of DuPont. So we're going to tap into the DuPont network. They can provide with the, with the uh, uh, products, with the uh, um, uh, spun, spun, spun bonded, non woven material. They're right down the street. You don't have to go to the products to order it. You know, it's right down the street. And we're going to partner with the University of North Carolina State Textile you're in conversation with them, and they're going to come back and help us set up courses. But once the students learn their two-year training, then they go into the increment. And then we have to stay with them a year. A year to get them up and running as manufacturers of their own product. We based our, our idea on a company called FUBU. It was a company started by three black males who didn't start with nothing. And they had these jackets and these the kids that killed each other over in some of these schools around. But they private labeled these jackets. They bought the name, they, they put Google on the back of them. And they just recently sold their private label manufacturing business for $25 million. Three black nails. Unbelievable. But they did it. And we know we can teach people how to do the same thing. But you gotta have, if you're gonna do it, I work with University of Maryland's incubator. If you're gonna do it, it has to be specific. It has to, just like your high tech people can't be in a low tech environment like I'm in, because it won't work. If you have a high tech center, it's got to be all high tech businesses. My businesses are going to be all, well, the people who graduate from my school are going to be all low tech manufacturers. So I want them to stay there. And we have an additional 50,000 square feet next door to us that's empty. So we will be able to expand over in South Brunswick and Brunswick over here in the other basket. City of the Six to seven jobs. Where are you getting the funding? 
to get this. Uh, we have a possibility of uh, uh, a Bill Gates Foundation loan. We got funding that on the grant. I'm a grant writer. I can get the funds. Uh, there is a program by North Carolina Rule. North Carolina Rule will give you up to four, up to five hundred thousand dollars to repurpose the old building as long as you can promise that they're going to have seven. I said I'm going to have seven, sixty-seven employees in Walmart. It's going to be seven full-time and sixty students who are going to be working part-time in the school to generate <coughs> products working in the call center. But North Carolina Rule has a program where they will lend you money, and if you meet your goals in terms of jobs, then they'll forgive it. It's a grant. A lot of people don't know that, but North Carolina Rule has money. But you have to be located in, you can't be located in Wilmington. You're, you're a tier what? One, two, three. You have to be the lowest tier. Brunswick County, I, I looked at Wilson, I looked at Pender, uh, uh, but I had to go to Brunswick because Brunswick, I, I can get that home in Brunswick. Pender uh, County has $350,000. So I, I really, I, I'm looking at the building, but I'm being pulled by Pender.